And on that forehand cross court, we see players so often going with arms against each other. Contact point is late. You know, they took that huge take back. Maybe they're even here opening up their chest. We want to feel like the arms, the hands are both working together. Imagine you got handcuffs on your hands. Sideways and together. They're going together through the shot. Take back and swing through. We don't want to have them going across or against each other or just this arm moving alone. One nice easy way to practice that is just grab your racket like this. So instead of there, grab it with both hands. You got a nice distance between them. Set up and swing through. And again, keeping the eyes in front is key because if my eyes are forward and I can see the entire court, I am not taking the racket too far back and creating something that's going to give me challenges. So I'm sideways and swing through. Breathe out every time, make it as real as possible. The further back you are on the court, the longer this gets. The longer that hitting zone is, we're creating a ball that goes deep as well as with some topspin. If you are more forward into the court and you want to practice a sharper angle, then the racket will go a little steeper. But from back here, assuming you're rallying cross court, you want that feeling of full extension through and the rotation to happen. Another drill you can do for this is line up your racket with the baseline next to you, like so. So you're not going for your full swing, but what we're imagining is that the racket's already here. Drop the ball to yourself and then execute the shot from there on. Again, take back, bring your racket here, drop the ball and completely finish the shot. What that helps you feel is just that speed going from here to the ball. And you can see I'm creating decent power out of that shot because I'm using my body well and I'm lining up with the ball also in the center of the racket where I get the most amount of power from. Rather than going all the way back here and then framing it. The further back we go, the easier it is to miss the center of the racket. Plus, there's a higher chance of the ball passing us. And so often people say, you know, well, what about Federer? You know, he's all the way here. Well, that take back is fine. If you, you have to keep your eyes in front. When that ball is coming, your take back, go as back as far as you can, but keep your eyes looking forward at the ball. If you cannot see both of my eyes anymore, because my neck is tight, I'm going back further. You see now all of a sudden, I cannot see you anymore with both eyes. That's where trouble happens. So take the racket back as far as you can, whether you're sideways, neutral, but keep your eyes forward at the ball. Both eyes need to see the ball. And that net automatically will create a lesser far back, take back. <laughs> the more we go here, the harder it gets. You wanna keep everything on this side of the body, here, and then through the shot. Same on the backhand side. Even if you're a one-hander, one-hander backhands, which are more new, uh, closed hands, do go further back. However, remember, you are not Roger Federer. So keep your eyes in front. So if you're sideways and you can, that's what you can do, then do that. If you're capable of going all the way here, seeing the ball and still timing it right, of course do that. These rackets are amazing. They're designed to give you so much power and control, but you gotta hit the ball in the middle. Make that your priority over the swinging speed. That's it.